Def Leppard. Show! Hi, I'm Rick Savage from Def Leppard, and it's my privilege for the next hour or so to play you some, some of our favorite videos just before we hop down the road and do a gig at the Hammersmith Odeon. The first one I'd like to play you is by a guy who we think's tremendously underrated. He's been around for years and years. He's got one of the roughest voices in the country. It's a guy called Tom Waits, and this is Chi Chi Club. <laughs> again. That was the cult with Wildflowers. Mm. Now, as I was saying earlier, we're in the middle of a British tour. We're about to play Hammersmith tonight, as I said. Uh, later on in the month, we'll be playing Birmingham, uh, Leicester, Southampton, Newcastle. And I'd like to say come along and see the show if you haven't got a ticket, but unfortunately, there's no more tickets left because it's sold out. So everybody that has bought a ticket, thanks for making it such a great tour so far. And I'm sure it's going to be great for the rest of the month. Now, the next video I want to choose is uh, one of my favourite songs at the moment. It's one of, in fact, it's one of my favourite songs this year. It's by two women who used to be in uh, Prince and the Revolution, uh, used to be keyboard player and guitar player. And I just think it's a wonderful song. And it's by Wendy and Lisa, and it's called Waterfall. Hi, that was Wendy and Lisa and Waterfall. This is Rick Savage. This is the Def Leppard Show. And after the break, we'll come back with then Jericho and The Motive. Hello. Welcome back to the Def Leppard Hour. And although many of you might think that it's a cushy number being in a rock band and, and playing around gigs and doing this and doing that, it's not always like laying around in a hammock and not as, not as easy as that all the time. One of the, uh, the hard parts of, of being in the band is actually filming videos. It's very hard, hard work. And uh, the, the latest one that we had from Animal basically was about us being in the circus. We literally went to live with the circus and hang around and just li literally invaded their lives for two or three days. And it was good for them to see how a rock band works, and it was great for us to see how just circus people traveling around the country, packing the, the gear up every night, are they? Because they really work really, really hard. And I think they, they kind of realize that sometimes bands have to work hard to p achieve videos as well. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, I'd like to play you the new video from Then Jericho, and it's called The Motive. Hello again. That was uh, Then Jericho. And the motive. And it's funny, really, because whenever bands come out on the scene, they always get labelled and say, well, they're always trying to, they always sound like somebody else. And I've heard then Jericho mentioned in the same breath as bands like Simple Minds and bands like that. And for me, then Jericho are probably one of the best bands that have come out in the last nine months or so. And I really do like the single, and I think it's going to be a big hit. Now, the next video, we're talking about guys that have been around for a long, long time. It's the Rolling Stones and one hit to the body. Now there's a band that could blow the pop scene wide apart with their obvious youthful good looks and the music that they play, which is obviously so A&R. It was Crazy Head and Baby Turpentine. Now here's a band that totally have blown the whole music scene wide apart. It's Bon Jovi and Living on a Prayer. That was Bon Jovi and Living on a Prayer. We're going to take a break now and come straight back with Dokken and Dream Warrior. Hi, this is Rick Savage. Welcome back to the Def Leppard Hour. Now, we had been in a heavy metal band, as so people might call us. We don't always listen to heavy metal music. We sometimes listen to all kinds of music, from Mel and Kim to the Waterboys, you name it. If it's good, we'll listen to it. But coming up now, I want to play you some videos that are more in the hard rock vein. One is uh, by a band called Dokken, 
and the other is by a guy called Sammy Ago. Now, I could tell you a bit about Sammy Ago. He's, we've known him for years. He actually helped us out when Def Leppard were first starting. He was the person that gave us a chance to tour England. We supported him when he was playing around Manchester, Birmingham, London. He took us on, he really looked after us. And we've been fans of Sammy Agar for years and years, because if there's any hard rock fans listening now that have never heard the first Montrose record that he was the lead singer on, it is an all-time classic, and it was made in 1974, and it, is, it still sounds good today. But first, I'd like to play you the Dokken video. It's called Dream Warrior. <laughs> That was Sammy Agar and Give to Live. Now, coming up, we want to play you something which is a bit of an exclusive, especially for people listening to MTV Europe. It's our video for a song called Women, which was a single in America a couple of weeks ago. I don't think anybody's seen it this side of the Atlantic, so you're very privileged. We really enjoyed making the video. It's called Women. Now, it's, it's the first video we did after the accident and I'm sure everybody's heard about the accident and what happened with Rick and losing his arm and blah 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 people ask us how does he do it this video explains it it's called women I've got to go I've got a gig in 10 minutes they're trying to kick me out of the studio so thanks for having me it's been a pleasure introducing these videos and I'll see you around thank you <laughs> 